Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As the title of the video suggests, I'm here to talk about my all-time favorite makeup brushes that you guys totally, totally need in your makeup kit. I keep getting a lot of SMSs and DMs from a lot of you guys that you guys want to know that which makeup brushes do I use, what do I use them for. So I thought why not just sit down today, pick up all my all-time favorites and recommend them to you guys. So yeah, grab a pen and a paper and get ready to note down a ton of makeup brushes that I use for my own makeup. Also, before we jump right in, I really want to mention that these, this particular video is in no way sponsored by any makeup brand. These dirty and gross brushes are an evidence that I use these makeup brushes religiously for my everyday makeup looks. So yeah, if you want to know my all-time favorite makeup brushes, keep on watching! Also, I am going to mention the makeup brushes in the order that I particularly like to do my makeup. So let's get started. So let's jump right in. I first like to do my eyebrows and I like to use this Makeup Forever brush in number 274. I'm definitely going to link these down below in the description box so that it is easier for you guys to find them. You can get them uh, from Sephora here in Select City Walk or anywhere nearby. So I really really like this brush because it is it has that stiff angular tip which makes it easier to make you know thin hair like strokes. It is Earlier that I liked to use these angular brushes that I now honestly like to use uh, a, a brow pencil with a spoolie at the end so it really makes the job very easy and very simple. Now that the brows are done, I am somebody who wants that perfect crisp line for your brows so I really like to use this straight concealer brush to carve out my eyebrows with the concealer to absolutely clean the line. It really really helps to make your brows look very clean and crisp because if you have made any any uh, mistake while applying your brow pencil or your brow gel, it just helps to clean all of that. So this one is from the Mophie and Jacqueline Hill uh, brush set and this is in the number JH43. I, since we do not get Mofi brushes here in India, I like to order them from the makeup house. I am going to link their Instagram handle down below in the description box. It will be really easy for you guys to get authentic imported makeup brands here in India because they definitely deliver to your doorstep. So yes, I got this from the makeup house and it is in no way sponsored. I'm actually wanting to mention this again. So this JH43, I really like to carve my brows with this with my favorite concealer. I like to use Born This Way concealer and using this, I like to just carve it out. Now moving right ahead, I like to correct my under eyes before I move on to the foundation. So before you move on to the foundation, I really like to uh, you know, use a color corrector to maybe just I color correct my under eye, dark circles, the pigmentation in your on the eyes. For that purpose, I really, really like this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush in the, in the number 824. I got this from US, but again, you can definitely, definitely get this from the makeup house. You can just mention this number and they can get it delivered to your doorstep. So Anastasia Beverly Hills is a wonderful, wonderful brand and I really like this brush because it is a stiff brush and it actually helps to color correct or even use concealer with this brush. So I simply, simply love this brush. I also like to use this Morphe brush in the number M428. So this is an M428 brush. You can see I've actually used an orange color corrector for this. And this has, this is a dual, you know, this is a dual ended, dual fiber brush. It really helps to stipple the color into the skin and it doesn't give you any streaks. So 
I definitely recommend this brush M428 by Mopi again also I am a complete complete fan of makeup designery or mud brushes and this is in the number 610 again this is a dual fiber brush and it really really helps to stipple the concealer right into the skin without leaving any strokes so this one again so these are some brushes that i really like to use for concealers and this one is from color bar i got this this is actually an eyeshadow brush and this is a synthetic fiber brush and it works wonders with concealers so this i basically got there's no number on this brush and this was a set of two eye brushes and this was one of them and you can definitely find it at any color bar store in delhi or nearby so i really love to use this brush it has actually been used a lot and i still still love this brush for any concealer color bar brushes are not expensive they work wonders and i just love this brush i would definitely mention this down in the description box below moving right ahead now i like to do my foundation so whenever i'm looking for a heavy coverage i like to use a flat ended foundation brush and this one is from mac it is in the number 190 i love love this brush this is a synthetic fiber brush it's a stiff brush it just actually deposits you know it just helps you put the foundation right in and this works wonders but most of the times i like to use a buffing kabuki foundation brush and this one is again again from morphe this is m439 i have no words for this brush this works absolutely wonders it just buffs it just helps to buff you know the foundation right into your skin without any streaks any brush strokes and it looks so airbrushed that i just love this brush i love to use it for my brides i love to use it for myself the same kind of kabuki brush can also be here this one is a revolution pro brush and this one is the num in the number pro 230 this one again is the same kind of kabuki foundation brush it these kind of dome brushes really really help to give you that airbrush foundation look and i most of the times prefer to use these kind of brushes for the foundations so you can actually use a mopi brush brush and for 39 revolution pro brush these i got them in uk but i can definitely you know link down the uh, i can link it down i got them delivered here from the uk website and they definitely charge you a custom fee when they deliver it to your doorstep but i would definitely recommend this brush this both of these brush brushes are really really inexpensive but they will work wonders and i i just love these brushes also this one is again from mud this is in the number 615 all the mud brushes are available from nika and these are amazing amazing mud brushes and i just recommend these to every one of these or okay, not you don't need three of these please uh you can just have one of these in your kit and it will you you will definitely thank me later because it definitely gives you that airbrush look and it looks amazing so any of these three and if you guys are one of those who needs a flat brush for the foundation i will definitely recommend the mac 190 because this is an amazing amazing brush so yes foundations either the kabuki brushes kabuki foundation brushes or the flat mac 190 is an amazing brush so once i have my foundation applied and my conceal under eyes conceal i really really like to bake my under eyes and i am not a beauty blender person i really really like to use makeup brushes and i like to use this small domed powder brush from real techniques 
to bake my under eyes. It really helps to get in there and apply the powder. This, they say it's a contour brush, but I like to, you know, use it for baking my under eyes. I just, you know, kind of apply a lot of powder to this. Just stamp the powder under my eyes and leave it there for like five, seven minutes. Yes, I like to leave it for that long because that gives you that perfect bulletproof under eye. So yes, this one for baking my under eyes or baking my jawline. So this works wonders for baking because it's that small domed brush and it works wonders. Once I've baked my under eyes, I like to use this Revolution Pro 230. It's a big powder brush and I like to just you know set my foundation or my concealer with this this one or again the morphine jack and Hill brush set so this one is JH01 this is a big fluffy powder brush it really just like you know lightly powder all my foundation with this brush works wonders either of these two they work wonders again this one I got from uh, the Revolution Makeup Revolution UK website and this one I got from the Makeup House. I'm going to definitely link them down below. So these two for my powder. Once I have my baked under eyes and I have to get rid of the under eye bake, I like to use this Morphe pointed powder brush to get rid of any bake or just buff around the uh, powder so that I can get rid of any bake that I have under my eyes or on the jawline. So yes, this is from Morphe but it does not really have a number and this one I again got from the makeup house and you can definitely order this one. This is an amazing amazing brush. I like to use it for you know getting rid of my buff, uh, getting rid of my bake but yes you can definitely use it for blush you can use it for bronzing you can use it for multiple multiple purposes at times i also like to use a fan brush to get rid of my bake so this one is again from morphe and this is the y13 and this is an amazing amazing brush i really like to you know get rid of my bake under eye bake and it really helps to get in there and get rid of the bake so it really really helps so this is Y13 by Morphe again. So now that the foundation is absolutely set, I like to get on to the contour part and I cannot obsess more over this brush. This is by Real Techniques. It is the sculpting brush by Real Techniques. They have that Insta collection, Insta pop collection and this is from that collection, it is the sculpting brush. It absolutely helps you to get that chiseled angular contour and helps to buff it because I am more of the powder contour person so I actually like to use this for the Morphe M523 for contouring my jawline, for contouring my cheeks, to get, it, to get over my forehead, to contour my forehead. So I actually love these two brushes for my contour, M523 by Morphe and Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. You can actually see it is an angular sculpting brush and it really really helps to sculpt your face perfectly. So yes, these two for contour. So guys, moving right ahead, now it's obviously time for some blush and I obsess over blushes. So I've got multiple, multiple blush brushes. Yes, this one's my favorite, favorite fall times. Again, from the same collection by Real Techniques. It is an Insta Pop cheek brush. You can see that it absolutely helps to get onto the apples of your cheeks and does not make the blush look harsh at all. I simply love this brush for the blush because it makes that makes cheeks really pop out but at the same time it doesn't make the blush look harsh so it is an amazing amazing blush brush and i would definitely definitely recommend this to you if not this yes i like to use the revolution pro 250 for the blush it is an angular uh i'm sorry it is 
a pointed blush brush helps to just get in there buff the blush absolutely and does not make it look harsh at all and i also also like to use this morphe angular brush in m104 for the blushes because it really makes the job very easy to get in there you know get it get absolutely there with your cheekbones and just buff them right away so yes these three brushes for the blush Pro 250 by the Revolution Insta Pop Cheek Brush by Real Techniques and this M104 by Morphe again. So these three, I just, you know, I swear by these brushes for any kind of blush. And now moving right ahead, I love, love to highlight my face and I am obsessed over highlighters. So these two highlighting brushes. There are a lot of people who like to use a fan brush for highlighting their cheekbones, but I honestly do not like it because it, I feel that it gives you that harsh line and I, I am not about any harsh lines on my makeup. So I really like this brush. I swear by this brush, M501 by Morphe again. This is a thin tone brush just gives you that perfect highlight or you, if you buy the Jacqueline and Morphe and Jacqueline and complete brush set this one M uh, sorry JH09 will be a part of it it is again by Morphe Morphe and Jacqueline Hill set and MH I'm so sorry JH09 again they're the same brushes it's just that they are, they are different collections by Morphe again so if you do not want to buy this, you can definitely buy this individually, M501 by Morphe. It is a fabulous, fabulous highlighting brush. Absolute love. Now, once we're done with the face, I have to, we have to get onto the eyes now. And I completely obsess over eyes, eye makeup, and these Two are my absolute favorite brushes for a transition shade. So first, I definitely like to go in with the transition color with either of these two. This is by Mud in the number 800. So 800 by Mud. It is an absolute fluffy, you know, transition brush, and I completely love it. It just makes it look so flawless. Or Morphe again, M441. I obsess over this brush. I cannot even, I think I have 10 of them because this is an absolute fluffy blending brush. It just helps, you know, make everything look flawless. So go with this for the transition shade and I, you will definitely, definitely love it. I think you should definitely have two of these in your kit because you will definitely use them. This one really helps to make the job very easy to just buff around any any harsh lines that your eye makeup might have. So M441 by Morphe, absolute love and I definitely definitely recommend this to you. Now moving right ahead, a crease brush and we definitely need a crease brush in our kit. So this one is by Morphe M514. Absolute love helps to just get in there and stamp the color and it just helps to, you know, stamp the color because it is that pointed brush. But the side bristles, you know, side by side, they just keep popping the color. So it just really makes the job very easy. Or I really love this one by MAC. It is MAC 217. It will staple in any, any kit because you can see that it has that pointed tip. It just helps you get in there, get in the crease, apply the color, and yet buff it along. So this one is an absolute, absolute favorite, and then you have to have this one. So MAC 217 is definitely, definitely needed. Then, I like to go in with this M506 by Morphe. This is a smaller blending brush and it really makes the job, you know, when you have to use two or three colors, you can see when I have been using this, the transition shade that I've used, 
I used it with this one, you know, in the crease and then you have to use a darker shade and yet you have to just make sure that it doesn't really mess up. I like to use this smaller blending brush so that you can be sure that it does not go anywhere here and there because you definitely need a smaller blending brush to get in the corner, get on the absolute crease line and not mess around any other colors. So M506 an absolute is an absolute staple in any, any makeup kit. M506 by Morphe. And then these two brushes that I'm talking about, I really like to use these ones when I'm using darker shades on my outer corner and the crease and I have to just stamp those. I'm not looking for any blending here, I'm just using, using them for stamping the color. This one is by Revolution Pro, it is Pro 150. You can see it is a dome brush and it really helps to stamp the color on the outer corner or on the crease. I mostly use it for stamping the color on the outer corner because it really helps to just stamp the darker shade on the outer corner so that, you know, you can have it absolute crisp. If you don't want to buy this, you can definitely go ahead with Makeup Forever um, 216 brush. It is an absolute similar kind of brush. They are both domed brushes and they really help to stamp the color on the outer corner. So yes, these two brushes for the outer corner. Then, who doesn't love, love a perfect cut crease and this is an absolute favorite with the cut crease. I really like to cut my crease with M224 by Morphe. It is a stiff concealer brush, really helps to, you know, get that perfect cut crease. So M224 by Morphe for the cut crease. If I ever want to apply a pigment or shimmer, you know, any kind of shimmery pigment or a glitter, and I have to apply it on my eyelid, what do I like to use? I like to use these flat brushes by Makeup Forever. 226 by Makeup Forever. It help, really helps to stamp the glitter. I really like to you know, wet this using MAC Fix Plus and then apply my shimmers. So it really just makes the shimmer pop out. So MAC, MAC Forever, Makeup Forever, 226 really helps to stamp shimmers or else I like to use this brush by Mark 320 it is again the same kind of brush flat brush really helps to stamp the color and makes the glitter or shimmer really pop out so yes 320 by Mark now moving on to the eyeliners I like to use an angular brush for that perfect wing and this one is by Morphe again G21. It is an angular brush and I really like to use it for that perfect way. It really helps, makes the job very easy. Or I like to use this pointed angular brush. This is an angular eyeliner brush and this is again by Morphe in M217. It has that pointed tip so it really helps to you know make that perfect crisp line for that vein or a normal eyeliner. So M217 by Morphe for that perfect wing or a perfect eyeliner. Now moving on to the brow highlighter and the inner corner highlighter. I love, love this JH39. It is a small pointed brush, smaller pencil brush. Helps to, you know, put that perfect brow highlighter or get in that, get in that inner corner with that perfect, perfect highlight. I just love a smoked out lower lash line and for that I use this Morphe 506, that smaller blending brush. Again, I like to use it for this perfect smoked out under eye. That perfect smoked out lower lash line M506 for this one. So that's it guys for this brushes 101 video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and follow me. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week and I hope I can be your 
some use so that you can definitely use some tricks and tricks that I have to give you and I would definitely love you guys to join me and follow me you guys can also follow my makeup journey and you can follow my Instagram handle and I will link that down below it will be very easy and I would definitely love you guys to be part of my family also don't forget to leave a comment down below if you ever want to see this rose gold movie smoky eye if you want to see a tutorial on this I would love to do it and please leave a comment down below before we say goodbye I really want to recommend this you know product to you again it is not sponsored at all this I bought it from Nika it is basically a sponge when you guys do not have so many eye makeup brushes you can definitely I have this dirty brush and you do not you do not really need to keep washing the brushes you do not need a lot of brushes with this just use this like that and all the color is absolutely gone no washing the brush just scribble it give it a twirl in this sponge and the brush is absolutely clean you can use any other color with this brush now it will not have the same purple color that i had already this is by the brush tools.com and you can absolutely buy this from nika this is an amazing amazing tool and i completely love it thank you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will definitely see you guys in the next video